Leo, what's good? Welcome to my channel. My name is Onward, professionally known as DJ Onward himself, and I do have an Instagram if you want to check it out. But if not, that's cool, because that's not the reason that we're here today, right, Leo? Today we're here to take a look into your recent past, your present, see what you got coming in for you in the future. This is for Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising placements for the collective, not specific to just one person. So if you hear something that doesn't ring any bells, that means it's not your story. Go ahead and leave that part behind. Let someone else uh, have that. You take only what's yours. I'm going to start off with your general love spread, and then we're going to go through all 12 signs of the Zodiac, and then close it out with some unsent messages from the Oracle deck that I've created, which can be found at OnWordsTarot.com, as well as if you need to get someone out of your head that you can't stop the ruminating thoughts about, I got help for you, waiting for you at OnWordsTarot.com. All right, let's see what's going on with you, Leo, in love. This is a love reading, so if you're not here for love, stick around, because you might find some. All right, let's see what's going on with Leo. And love. Please bring me clear and accurate messages. Leo, how you doing? You look good. All right, what's going on with Leo in love? Please bring me clear and accurate messages for Leo. Sun, moon, Venus, and rising. All right. Oh, bottom of the deck, tower. There's a sudden change here. Something's changing here dramatically, Leo. Sudden realization. A dynamic change. Something changes everything. Let's see what this reading is going to uh, go. Or uh, what it's going to be about and where it's going to go. First card out. Situation here. King of Swords. Father figure. Masculine energy. Air sign, possibly. Um, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Could be dealing with a very strict person. Somebody who means business. A uh, strict father figure. There could be some communication or conversations between you guys. Somebody possibly could be getting cut off. Somebody could have got cut off after... A sharp conversation or direct conversation the challenge is putting this burden down ten of wands crossing the spread so this is a burden to you whatever this is it looks like possibly you could be wanting to cut somebody off or wanting to talk to somebody and tell them that uh, they're a burden pretty much um, the root of the matter could be done with the fire sign don't have to be root of the matter um, it looks like you're trying to trying to ground yourself stay grounded there could be two kings here. You could be dealing with two different people. This also could be a same sex, uh, a same sex connection. What is it, a marriage or a relationship? It could be a friendship. Possibly a fire sign and an air sign. In the recent past, it looks like you took fast action. It looks like you rushed in and talked to somebody, or just took some type of fast action. Possibly communicated with somebody. In your conscious goal. You got the sweet, uh, Three of Swords. Three of Swords. Uh, well, let me show you the card before I get it all nice and uh, situated. The three of Swords. This speaks of heartbreak, heart pain. Just how it looks. A uh, sword with three big old, I mean, I'm sorry, a heart with three big old swords going through it. Now, there should never be a sword going through the heart, but if there is, there should only be two swords. I have three here. Threes of Crowd. This could be a love triangle. You could be creating a love triangle here, wanting to create a love tri a triangle. Let's see where this goes. The way you see yourself right now, holding yourself back. Possibly also uh, in regards to that tower at the bottom of the deck, holding yourself back. There's, there's a sudden change right here after a fast take, an, uh, take of action here. So this is happening really fast, and I feel like somebody's getting their heart broken out of it. External to you in your environment, somebody that you're dealing with, you have an empress. So this is a wifey, a mother figure. So I, I have one female uh, feminine energy, and I have two masculines. I have three swords. So I'm going to say that again. I have two men and a woman. Could be the other way around, but you see what I'm saying. There's, uh, there's three people here. There's three different people here, three different swords, one heart. Um, this person that you're dealing with, I feel like you're, this is possibly a wife. It could be literally, it could be your mother, depending on why you're watching this reading, but this is somebody who's held in high regard. This is somebody who knows that they are, uh, they know their place on earth. They know that they are the empress. There's, there's no one higher, there's no one higher than them. In your hopes and fears, you're hoping for a turning point. You're hoping, hoping that something's going to change again with that tower on the bottom. You want something fast to change. You want this to change now. And in your outcome, we'll come back to that. So, 
let's get down to the bone bristle and see what we got going on up in Europe. Uh, tell me about the uh, Knight of Swords, please. Oh. I'm not going to take these off the floor and put those back in the deck. If they want to come out, they will. So I will take this one, though. Knight of Swords. So I have Virgo Energy here with the Hermit in reverse. I also see Aries, Sagittarius, and Leo. The strongest. It's possible it just could be you, Leo. But anyway, um, in the recent past, it looks like somebody took action, came out of Hermit mode, uh, possibly after a long break or a long period of space. It looks like somebody just bounced back, came back, took a bunch of fast action. Rushed in, possibly rushed something, or rushed into something. What is the King of Swords? Please clarify the King of Swords clearly and accurately. Clear and accurate matches, please. King of Swords, three cards. Wow! Holy crap. Okay, so yeah. So, uh, Leo, somebody got cut off here. I feel like you cut somebody off. This is the fast. This is this is the abandonment. This is the ghostman. Somebody you cut off somebody who wasn't making you happy here. Um, somebody made you terribly unhappy here, and you were walking away from this person. But it looks like you're double walking away from this person. You have the Eight of Cups and the Five of Pentacles, clarified by the Sun in reverse. This is a very happy, unhappy situation that you're walking away from. It looks like this is a ghosting. It looks like you're not even telling the person that you're leaving. You're just out. Again, that's that tower at the bottom of the deck, sudden realization. Your person that you're dealing with could be in a tower moment. This could be you on this side. It could be vice versa, How it, uh, however it applies to you, however it resonates best to you. But the situation here is somebody's unhappy. Somebody got cut off. Somebody got cut off and is being walked away from, possibly ghost it, or abandoned. This is abandonment here because this person is a burden. I feel like somebody's actually literally moving out of their house. Somebody's moving out here. Ten of Wands. Um, the challenge here, uh, please clarify the Ten of Wands. Ten of Wands. So, yeah, so you're taking a risk. You want to take a risk and get up out of here. This whole exiting out of this connection is, or possibly could be a risk. It's like, I don't care. I'm out. I'm going. You want to go towards something new? This has been a burden. This has been a long time coming. You're cutting this person off after a long time. I feel like you took some time off and you went within. You figured things out. You came out of Herman moment. You're like, you know what? Uh -uh. Mm -mm. I'm out. What is the King of Wands, please? King of Wands, yeah. So there's a secret in another person. Somebody's, uh, there could be a Pisces here or a Aries Leo or a Sagittarius. But uh, the really matter, there's there's some deception in regards to somebody else that is involved here. This possibly could be a third party situation. Um, it looks like you're holding yourself back from somebody. You could be holding yourself back from somebody, moving away from somebody, ghosting somebody to go towards something new. But it's taking a lot of strength to be able to hold yourself back. I feel like you can't. You're unable to do this just yet. Why is the Three of Swords here for the Conscious Goal? That is a lot of cards. They all jumped out, too. What's the Conscious Goal here? The Three of Swords, please. Three of, this is a third-party situation. So, yeah, you're planning. You're planning. You're wanting to put this person in third-party situation. We got three and three. So, ugh, I, feel like, I feel like you're planning to do something shady here. This is this is plan. This is yeah. You're trying to meet up with somebody. So your goal is to go meet up with somebody. You're sneaking away from somebody. You're sneaking away from somebody. I feel like you're up to no good. <laughs> or you're wanting to, but you, you're holding yourself back. But you really want to. You really want to, but you are. Hold on. Yeah, you, you really want to sneak away from this person, but you're holding yourself back, Leo. Um. What is... Tell me about the Empress. Please give me clear and accurate messages. What is the Empress? Your Empress, uh, clarified by the Seven of Wands in reverse. So your person feels like they're defeated. Your person, this could be the person that you're dealing with. If this is a marriage or relationship. Uh, your, uh, the wifey, the mother figure, the feminine figure, the one who prepares the meals, the one who bears your children. Whoever this person is that you're dealing with external to you in your environment, they feel defeated. How does uh, Leo see this person? Whoever this Empress is, how does Leo see this person? 
Do you see this person as uh, emotionally closed off, emotionally unavailable? How does Leo feel this person? Or you could be feeling like that towards them. I feel like you feel that or you feel like they are emotionally closed off or just emotionally not available there. Or not, they're not expressing themselves emotionally. They're not opening up. How does Leo feel about this person? Working on it. Putting in work. You feel like this person is working on it. They're trying to do what they have to do. They're trying to... Uh, they if, if this something is broken here, you could be feeling like they're trying to work on this or this could be you wanting to work on it but i feel like you're you're being pulled somewhere else you're pulling yourself somewhere else how does uh this person see leo they want to reconcile with you possibly they see you as wanting to reconcile depends on who i'm talking to put yourself on either side of the story that you belong on no two people are dealing with the same person so it's not gonna be the same for you as it is for you all right but this is reconciliation, so the way they uh, see you, they see you possibly looking at the past, or they're thinking about the past. Pleasant thoughts, possibly wanting to reconcile. How does this person feel about Leo? Yeah, they're they're not interested, so they feel like there's a lack of interest here, whether it's on your part or theirs, but this is it's unfulfilling. No interest. Eh, can, can you offer me something more? Not quite. Not it's it's okay, but I have enough of those cups. You you're offering me a cup that I already have three of. Can you offer me something else? Can you maybe paint it or something? Put some damn stickers on it, make make it look cool. Offer me some that I don't already have. What is the mutual energy between Leo and this person? Mutual energy between you guys. Uh, focusing on the past, focusing on the negative. You guys are both looking at focusing on what went wrong. Looks like you both you both are you guys both have an idea, a creative idea, or something that you're that you're proud of, or something that you feel confident in. You have an idea, but you're still looking at the negative. So you okay, so there's an idea here that you both have that neither one of you guys believe in. You don't believe in your own idea. What does this person not want Leo to know? What are they hiding from Leo? What is this person hiding from Leo? They're losing hope. They're having a hard time healing. They feel like they feel like this isn't going anywhere. They feel like this is a loss of hope. They feel like it's it's they're not getting what they want. They feel like this uh, it, the answer is no. What's coming in for you that you're unaware of? Ten of Swords. You're going to be putting this burden down. Whatever this. I have a ten and ten. I have the ten of Wands, fire energy, and air energy, ten of Swords. Both of these are telling me the same thing. Um, you're going to be letting this go. You're going to be uh, pulling these swords out, putting this burden down. So right now, it's a challenge putting this burden down or possibly even moving out. I feel like you want to move out of this place, go move in with somebody else, or just go out on your own. But you want to get out of this house here um, or get out of this situation. You're going to uh, remove this swords after being betrayed, backstabbed by this person. Um, somebody's going to betray somebody else, though. You possibly could be betraying someone else. You could be backstabbing somebody else, Leo, on your way out. You just want this change. You want the sudden change. That's that's what I see with the Wheel of Fortune, the Tower at the bottom of the deck. Three and three. You and also three and three is six. Those are uh uh not preparations. Uh sixes are like overcoming things, uh getting past the challenge. Fives are challenges. Six is getting past the challenge, doing what you gotta do to get past this challenge here. Working on it. Uh with the six is normally where the where the healing would start, where the healing process would start. Uh, talk about the ten of swords, please. So yeah, so what's coming in for you? Um, you're gonna you're gonna pick yourself up and move on. You're gonna go ahead and close this chapter out. You're gonna get this wheel of fortune turning point that you're hoping for. Something's gonna change here. This is gonna this is gonna go. You're gonna close this cycle completely out. And go towards something new. You could be starting something new with a third party. If this is a third party. Now, if this isn't a third party situation, although I have a, too much indicators, too many indicating cards to believe that it's not a third party situation, but it's not going to be for all of you guys. If it's not, your conscious goal is just to be able to plan a, uh, a way to get out of this situation. But because of heart pain, but I feel like it's going to hurt somebody else on the way out. 
In your outcome, you have, there's going to be communication, fast communication. Somebody's going to reach out or you're going to reach out. Possibly this person that you're going to be taking a leap of faith with. What's the most likely overall outcome in regards to this Eight of Wands? Someone's going to reach out and make an emotional offer. So as soon as this is all done with, I feel like this could be happening now, but someone's going to reach out um, and offer you their cup. This could be you reaching out and offering someone's cup, but as soon as this is done, as soon as you let go of this, close this cycle out, start out a new one, there's going to be some conversation, some communication in regards to starting something new here. Um, if you're dealing with an Aries... Things are going to be moving forward. You could be going traveling to go see this person. You guys could be actually taking a trip together, going on a vacation together. But whatever this is, is full speed ahead, forward motion. And the unsent message says, "Sometimes I look at my, uh, sometimes I look at my phone, hoping to find a missed text from you, but nope, nothing." Oh, excuse me. Good coffee, y'all. It ain't the Shasta this time. If you're dealing with a, another Leo. Um, you're dealing with somebody who feels like they are in charge. This is, uh, this is somebody who is, somebody who means business, somebody, uh, somebody who's professional, but there, someone's getting cut off. They're, they're going to talk, they're going to talk and their, their confidence is through the roof. Whoever this is, this conversation, their confidence is going to be through the roof. It may even come off as intimidating to you. Somebody could get caught off, uh, cut off here though. I can feel what you don't say. If you're dealing with a Sagittarius, Sagittarius is retracting their offer. They're no longer they're no longer uh, the offer of new love is no longer on the table. They've pulled it, they've pulled that back or changed their mind. We both had a choice to make. I was clear about my choice. If you're dealing with a Cancer sign, interesting. Same card, same orientation as the Sagittarius reading. So if you're dealing with the Sag, uh, if you're dealing with a, you might be dealing with the Sag or have Sag in your charts, uh, possibly watch that reading. But if you're dealing with a uh, Cancer sign, it looks like they're burying themselves in work, uh, avoiding trying to take a financial hit. They're feeling stable, or they normally feel stable. They feel like they could be losing their stability, and it's making them nervous. I'm not sure I'll ever trust you the same. If you're dealing with a Pisces. Your Pisces is feeling there's a little jealousy here, a little insecurity. I may have your heart, but someone else has your body. If you're dealing with the Scorpio, uh, things are unfair. Somebody's uh, somebody's getting their karma. I don't feel like it's you. I feel like it's possibly the person that you're dealing with. They feel like it's unfair. Something, whatever's broken is still broken. They want to know, are you happy? If you're dealing with a Virgo... Looks like there's going to be a reconciliation. And this time, my love comes with no terms or conditions, just boundaries. If you're dealing with a Taurus, uh, end all be all. You guys, uh, looks like you guys are going to be moving into a very happy, successful relationship. I don't understand your hot and cold behavior, and it's becoming exhausting. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, Again, it looks like there's going to be a... You guys are going to be coming into each other's environment. You guys are going to be coming together to explore the contents of each other's cup. Take a peek in that cup like I was in it. Uh, no. Or you could like, hey, you know what? I kind of like what's in that cup. Can you spill some of those? Spill a little something, something in my cup? The unsent message says, why am I such a hard decision to make? Well, that decision is going to be made here very soon. It's here. Um... If you're dealing with an Aquarius, Aquarius, uh, there's things that you don't know. There's um, just a lot of unknowns. They possibly don't know either, but this is, uh, there's a secrets here. Secrets. There's some type of deception too. They could be keeping secrets from you. It's not possible to experience my type of love in another human. You'll spend a lifetime searching for something that doesn't exist. If you're dealing with a Libra. 
dealing with the Libra, they're freeing themselves from a self-imposed imprisonment. They know that they are the only ones keeping themselves there. Enough has become enough. They're walking away. They're uh, freeing themselves from this. I don't say they're walking away from you. But whatever this is, they feel trapped in. They could be feeling trapped in the passenger seat of their own car. They're going to grab that door handle, open the door, get out, and realize, I could have done that a long time ago. That's what the energy of this is. You never fought for me. Didn't even try. If you're dealing with a... Uh, who's that? If you're dealing with a Gemini, uh, Gemini is, is trying to be strong. Uh, try, trying to have strength to get through whatever this is they feel like it's it's just never ending they feel like it's never ending it's just it's they have to always it's like they're trying to they're trying to close their eyes to it or blind themselves to it and just be strong and uh not deal with it you know okay so whoever that's specific to you know exactly what i'm trying to say i know exactly what i'm trying to say i can't find 3d words to describe this 5d situation um it's not going to apply to everybody you know it, whoever this applies to you know exactly what i'm talking about um uh, just blinding yourself to it and trying to stay strong you know exactly what it is leave it in the comments too uh, you know exactly what i'm talking about it's not for everybody i'm not ready to experience what i feel exactly same energy i'm not ready to experience what i feel it's like they're trying to blind themselves to it i don't want to deal with it right now you know exactly what i'm talking about Anyway, that's what I have for you, uh, Leo. Uh, hopefully it resonated with you. Let me know in the comment section. Let's talk about it. If you're interested in the Unsent Messages Oracle deck, you can find that on WarsTarot.com. Or if you need to get someone out of your head, evict them. They're not paying rent. Uh, you, the eviction notices are at OnWarsTarot.com. Visit the Magic Shop. All right, you guys. Thanks for tuning in. And uh, please like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. If you have, welcome back. I'm going to see you on the next one. All right?